Hello everyone and welcome back to the final game of this season's tournament and this is Division 3 and we are going to see Zenat against Walter. So these are the finalists and this is the last last game of the season like I've already just mentioned. So let's take a quick look at what we're going to get today. This is game one by the way. I'm going to do all games that were played. So keep up uh, for the uh, the next upload. And um, so this is Zenat using the 21st Panzer in the red corner using balance income as well. And as you can see the length of the video, uh, both players are balanced. So I guess we're going to be treated for a fair, fairly long game. Walter is using the 17 SS Panzer Grenadier Gotts von B. And um, yeah, so uh, let's quickly look at the uh, deployment here. Those are pretty classic. Classic here as well, maybe a bit more than usual. But there's a Flak 88 that is sure going to give some uh, trouble to Walter in the air. Same for the grill. Uh, let's remember these got 2k range on the ground. So they're, they're pretty destructive. Um, here we have him uh, doing uh, um, quite the classic move as well. Just a little bit of um, incursion around here. And for Walter, we have, well, uh, we have, uh, oh wow, we got a big attack here in town. This is, a, this is a good thing, especially considering he's got the fast vehicle. So he can definitely do this. This goes to 115 kilometers an hour. Uh, so yeah, he can definitely do that. He's going to bring some flamers there with a bazooka. And that's going to give him some points. Uh, probably Zenat will get back to that. But uh, this is definitely going to give him some tick um, in the early game. Then we've got a quite uh, passive move around here. Sig 33 is going to move here. Very, That's a good way to put it. Uh, he's going to stop everything around there. Unless there is a plane coming in. Because I don't see any anti-aircraft for now. Um... And he's going to be quite aggressive with his fast vehicle here. And he's going to be going for that flag. So uh, already in phase A, Walter is gunning for uh, both flanks. And this is obviously what he should be doing. Because he doesn't want to fight here in the open really. Um, but town could be a good thing. But uh, Zenat could easily take control by controlling uh, the flanks of that town. <coughs> so without further ado... Let's do that. Grail here is going to be in a very good position to hit the flanks of these. Uh, just He might get destroyed by a uh, strong AT, but not the pack 40 yet, because that's not going to go to 2000. Um, although... It maybe could get to 1700. But yeah, the Grail is going to be in a very good... This Oh, wow, that hurts. Grill could be in a very good position to hit air, uh, reinforcement and flank units here. Um, yeah, so this is a massive success here for Walter. He is bringing his Herzatstruppen with the LaFly vehicle. That's pretty odd, I think. What's the speed of these? 70 kilometers, that's, uh, that's regular stuff. And Walter definitely uh, has the edge here. Over Zenat right now. He's captured both of his objectives he was gunning for. He's bringing more in the uh, reinforcement as gonna deal. Stug 4 are gonna come here and decide and uh, control the uh, the tank engagement here. Because uh, Panzer 4 is not gonna be able to destroy that. Plus there's a pack 40 already here in position. With the 3 SPW 233. Uh, these are definitely gonna be killers uh, on the field. Smoke has been put down. MG is going to move in. Everything is going to get destroyed here. He's changing his position. The grill is actually going to come here to support. And this is going to be a killer. But the Stug 4 could meet it and destroy it. 
Uh, Flag 88 also gonna go here, so I, I guess this is a good um, heal if you wanna change position to what you defend. Do you defend this? Do you defend this? You can bring all your support units to do that here. Hellstaff Supens are not going to be able to win against these. I don't know why these uh, stayed there, but there's only a SPW233 defending. It's going to be enough to stop any reinforcement unless there's a bazooka coming here or something. There is a pack 40. Mm, should have probably been here, but anyway. Another SIG33 coming in. That's going to provide some uh, massive firepower. To, uh, to this opening and to these. Alright, so the ball is in Walter, Walter's camp right now. 14-10 already in the first three minutes. Panzer Shrek moving in with haste. So nothing much is happening right now. Zenat is kind of look like he's consolidating his force a little bit. He's gonna advance these guys without proper infantry support, but I think he doesn't have that much. He obviously has the Ersatz Truppen. He's got some pioneers, but that's probably it. And I wonder if it's gonna be enough to kill whatever's in front of him. Definitely uh, not gonna be able to take the uh, the, the better of these legionaries. And now the machine gun starting to get into action. SP-233 uh, 233 will hide for now. Um, probably by uh, Miss, Miss Micro. But Pack 40 is unloading here. Oh, there you go. So now he's going to come in. Might get destroyed by the Pack 40. There's another 233 coming in with the BF-109 G6 here. These are the, the rocket. Pin the other down. All right, Gepard came in. It's not gonna be uh, really useful here, I guess. Maybe anti-infantry covering uh, these guys. Pack 40 is gonna move in, gonna try to get the kill on the SPW T33. Anyway, there's another one SPW coming here. Uh, so these are uh, German divisions are pretty good with the uh, recon vehicle. Then these can be very annoying. Now, nice positioning here from uh, Zenat having two Panzer IV coupled with the SPW T33. More Ersatz Tupin coming in, but they're not going to be able to do a, a lot of things. And considering both players on balance here, it's looking very good for Zenat. And it's uh, a mystery for me. Like, he could even advance that SP, uh, that SIG 33 and get some shot at that. This would be dead right away against this. Um, and this cannot shoot, I think. Yeah, 1500. Very good so far. The Stug died. To the Panzer, uh, where though? Did he advance his Tug that far off? Yeah, no, he advanced it here, and I, this was definitely a mistake because there's not a long range engagement here. He probably wanted to cover this road, but uh, was met by these guys. 1410 still looking pretty good for a uh, Walter. There's a Panzer 4 coming in here. He's probably going to get destroyed by the Panzer Shrek eventually. Uh, SS Tupens are going to be forced to retreat against those, I do believe. Just because they're disheartened. Pack 40 gets the kill. Oh wow, it's looking very, very good for Walter. Uh, SIG-33 is going to move in here and it's going to be deadly until an airplane gets to it. But uh, so far so good. Lots of troops here with SDKFZ. We're still in phase A so that means he had Panzer Grenadier as reinforcement.
All right, so now it's looking pretty bad for Walter on this side of the of the map. There is a pack 40 being completely useless here. Uh, although he wouldn't have done much against these Pentagon and Deer, but he definitely needs something to kill those half track. And the these recons could be it, could be the solution. But there is some anti tank to be wary of. There you go, one that. Oh, it's gonna take a bit more than this, but there there now comes the big support coming in. One half track down. That pack 40 is probably gonna die from all these infantry. There's another half track down finally. Oh, that pack is going on dangerous mission. Yeah, he is going to retreat back, uh, unfortunately. There's an, a little bit of an air war here. Uh, yep, yeah, FW 190 will die to the BF 109 uh, that took him from behind. Panzer IV did die to the Panzer Shrek. There's one flame, war flame warfare here, but he definitely needs to bring more reinforcement into this area if he wants to keep it longer. 1311 for Zenat as Zenat takes back the control of this little forest here. Uh, but there are a lot of dangerous things that could still kill him. Now he's gonna go for the deep defense uh, strategy. He's not gonna throw his uh, force into uh, almost certain death. After I'm gonna go down to the SPW-233. More reinforcement coming here uh, to uh, protect against sound, but really I think would have been a bit better to have them here. But maybe this is just a throwaway flag for him. Farker Wolf bombing the Flame Warfare. Or the Bazooka. Oh, Bazooka goes down, but it already killed a Panzer IV, so uh, that's good. And there you go. Flag is lost to Ersatz Truppen, unfortunately. There's a little bit of fight in town. Unfortunately, these pioneers are out of their houses. Stug 4 is going to be ready to dominate. Could get killed by the Martyr 1. But, uh, well. Range. Same range. Could get killed by the... Either one could kill each other. If the Stug 4 gets first shot, he's going to kill the Martyr. Martyr could definitely cripple the Stug 4 with just one shot. Uh, this is yet to see. There you go. More reinforcement is coming here in the form of Sig 33. With, uh, with uh, the 231, which is the 20mm... Uh, and uh, more Panzer Grenadier, so this is gonna be probably enough to capture this back. There's a little air war here, but the BF 109 was, will be forced to uh, die. No, will be forced to retreat. Unfortunately, the Fucker Wolf doesn't have a big. Uh, oh wow, and it goes. Uh, what the hell? Doesn't look like it's being microed. Uh, looks like. Oh yeah, it was microed because there's another BF 109 here. Zenat is pushing in force here, but the SIG-33 will save the day. <coughs> a little flank maneuver here is going to do some good. Uh, the SPW-233 are in danger, but uh, they could gang up on the Panzer IV and actually kill that. Flag captured by Walter. There's almost nothing here. Uh, these behemoths are eventually going to uh, kill each other. Farker Wolf still reigning supreme in the sky, killing the BF-109. There's no anti-air for uh, Walter and this is causing him some problem. It, uh, the anti-air from uh, Zenat definitely helped the Farker Wolf stay alive. Um, Martyr 1 goes down. Panzer gun idea here, still with the infantry inside. This is a pretty bold move. There you go. So this is going all in. It's going to destroy the Assassin's Supin as the Panzer Grenadier comes in. <gasps> SIG-33 is getting destroyed by the grill. Oof. Ouch. 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 Fokker Wolves are starting to rank supreme. 12-12 for players now. But this is going to change soon here. But still, this flag is about to be captured by Zenat. 
And uh, this is pretty dangerous too. No reinforcement in sight here. There are finally going to be some uh, anti-aircraft in a somewhat good position here. I would have probably put in the forest myself. Um, Pack 40 is being damaged. Uh, Walter is definitely winning the engagement here. He's going to capture a flag soon. Oh, ouch. Fucker Wolf destroyed the SPW-231 with his uh, fucking 20mm and 30mm bullets. Oh no. Oh, the Forker Wolf are doing an enormous amount of damage here. Maybe the BF-109 will be able to kill one of them. Doubtful. I think uh, there's too much of a distance right now. This is still being heavily contested. Zenat is uh, got the points now. 13-11. Oof. This, this is going to go down as well. And I think Walker, Walter can side shot. At least there's penetration done. But there's nothing here to help that Pentagon and deal advance. Uh, Zenat looks like he's going to be a little bit aggressive. That SIG-33 could come back and kill that grill. Ooh. Uh, that's a very nice vehicle coming in. That's going to definitely help in town. There's a little engagement here, but the BF-109 won't be able to get back to it. What happens here? Wow. Uh, I think it looks like the uh, Fokker Wolf really did a number here and uh, prevented Walter from capturing this town from the Ersatz Truppen. Is the AKZ-259 doing some massive work here to let the uh, half tracks with infantry move in. Now it's starting to look pretty bad for Walter as more uh, reinforcement comes in in the forms of uh, Ersatz Truppen. Um, I think they're 15 points. Yeah. And more and more uh, expensive support weapons are coming in. So it looks like Walter is kind of abandoning uh, this in favor of town here. Two went down here, uh, probably because of that Martyr 1. The push is real. Uh, Zinat is pushing on all fronts. Walter is busy, so we forgot about these guys. Oof, ouch. Normally, I would say this is game for Zinat, but the game still goes on for so long, uh, we just don't know what's going to happen next. Thirty millimeter bullet could definitely kill uh, some of these support weapons. All right, so fucker was gonna go down here for sure. Oh, well. There you go. Oh, not even. Oh, what is that? Maybe the Flak 88 will be able to... Oh, there you go. There you go. Now he's getting behind. As long as he doesn't get hit by these. There you go. One down. This is nice to see. Uh, these are getting hit. Not a lot of reinforcement around here. Uh, some decent ar anti-armor though. That will be able to kill the Panzer IV. But otherwise, it's all infantry here with a pack and the grill. Hopefully, this is a the SIG-33 is aiming at the grill. Nope, it's aiming at the Ersatz Truppen, unfortunately. This is very... Oof, this hurts. So this is uh, going to be in danger now. Fucker Wolf will strafe this. Eesh, that hurts. But he will die as a consequence. Or will he? Oh no. Don't let him get away. Oh god. This BF-109 doesn't turn enough. His agility is bad and it shows. 
which allows the fucker wolf fighter to survive another day. This is uh, this is disastrous actually. 59 for Zenat. Now these weapons would have definitely do better to stay on the hill, I think. One covering this area, the other uh, this area. Panzer IV is hiding in the forest. All infantry goes down here to the Assas Truppen. Gabriel needs to die. Fucker wolves are coming in and I can just feel Walter's annoyance. Oh nice, Grill dead. I can just feel Walter's annoyance with these goddamn Fokker wolves coupled with the 88. Uh, 21st Panzer is a very powerful and I know I remember when I put my my tier list and I put 21st Panzer as a strong division, people were like meh meh. But look at that, like yeah, they can in the ends of good players they can provide some really good uh, firepower. But there's another one coming here. <coughs> Eventually these will be able to get the better of these. And um, this is a problem. Ah, there you go. This is what I was going to say. That bringing 88 millimeters as uh, your only source of anti-air is very, very bad. You absolutely need smaller ones uh, coupled around to stop these uh, these guys from coming in. Now this is a disaster here. Hopefully there's the uh, 2 tree one that will be able to do some work. Uh, work around the pack here and the 2 tree tree. Fifty nine still for Zenat. We definitely need some sort of artillery to take out these Flak 88 I would say. Uh, Mortars would have been a good idea. But we don't see much of that in these games of higher players. And I wonder why they, they definitely just... They definitely focus more on 88 for anti-air. and the, But there's no Mortars ever being bought. And I mean, four Mortars in Phase A could destroy an 88 pretty easily. And provide smoke cover. SPW T33, a beautiful piece. Will die to the Panzer IV. If uh, if he can aim, things are going down the distance here. Uh, lots of fucker wolf. Uh, Walter definitely trying to uh, micro his, his airplanes, and he does well because the BF 109's got better agility, I think. Bad, medium. These definitely need to go down and more f more anti-air on this hill would do really, really good. There is finally a uh, some sort of uh, artillery here coming in, 300 millimeters, going to try to probably uh, cause the 88 to go down. This is still a, this is still a major problem for a Walter here. Uh, to, with all the Essas Tupin, the half tracks, now there's even a Panzer IV, I mean a, a Sherman coming in. And that's going to definitely do a lot of damage here. Maybe not against the Stug though, but at this distance, maybe. God, some pens are coming in. Uh, these are sure to do some uh, extra damage. Unfortunately, Walter was never able to get this flag back as easy as it looks like actually because it from my point of view here from my eagle view It looks very easy to to take this back. There's only SF open and I would have said uh, that probably going this road here Which is what I personally do always I bring my troops here I unload here and I walk the rest and it's a slow way, but it gets the job done 
Okay, finally, uh, there's some action going to be done against those uh, those Flak 88. Oh wow, it's too, uh, going down to probably the Pack 38 or maybe uh, a Panzer IV, who knows. But it actually went down and that's the problem because Walter brings his Stug IV really, really close to the front line while they should actually stay behind. Another Nebel Werfer coming here. I wonder if that's going to do the, the job. Um, these are pretty expensive. He's bringing it back right into his truck right again. But that's not necessary as he doesn't have any artillery. But as I say that the Wurframen is coming in. Uh, that's a four shot use. 280 millimeter. Uh, it's not coming with uh, supply or anything like that. Oh, Panzer IV goes down to the Legionary. What a shot. Uh, that was excellent here. That's going to give Zenat some thoughts about pushing further. There is a Stone Panzer IV coming in. That's going to be very deadly in the open range. Some good recon play here. Bringing the recon with the uh, nice vehicles that they come in. There you go, and that's going to be hitting for uh, that 88 that already started moving a little bit. But there you go, nice falling back. Oh, nice. That was very good. We were hoping for a direct shot, and it got it. It destroyed it. Because you see, this one didn't get any, or is that a second one? It doesn't even look damaged at all. Uh, so that was a bit of a waste here, but this was very lucky, very good. And now we just need this one to reload and try this back again. SPW-222 goes down to the 233 or uh, to something at least. Yeah, that would make sense here. Uh, yeah. So Flak 88 here was lost in the end. Uh, the 36, uh, 37 millimeter was brought too little, too late. I think he should probably start with these guys, maybe one there, one here, and then bring the the heavier stuff. All right, so now we're seeing a better approach, I think, in the open. Stug four is gonna reign supreme in this, uh, in these lands. 15, 14, 
Uh, I just noticed I was on mute, so I was talking this whole time, <laughs> and, and uh, there's nothing. Oh well, uh, I guess this is what it is. I didn't say anything important really. I was questioning uh, bringing so many 300 millimeter, and uh, well, anyway, I guess this this gave you guys a break from my uh, my question and my my commentary. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so I don't know if it was unmuted for that, but I said I definitely think Walter will win now. He's definitely engaging a little bit better. Uh, he's trading a whole lot more better, actually, than uh, Zenat. And it doesn't look like Zenat was made for the long game. Because there's, uh, there's not a lot of things coming out right now. Where you see Walter is just pumping and pumping and pumping. And his troops are surviving more than they were in Phase A. Now, this took for doesn't have eyes unfortunately on that Gepper. Definitely need some infantry with it. 1410 for Walter. And yeah, I, I don't think uh, Zina's gonna come back from this. Uh, most likely he, uh, oh wow. 260 points so uh, maybe that's why we weren't seeing much but uh, what a dangerous move here because Walter has three Nibel Werfer 300 millimeter and uh, just one of them could kill the Koenig's Tiger now we see some off map we didn't see off map throughout the whole game uh, this is a good area to put it down Put some damage and maybe hit this area. 1410 for Walter. Let's uh, advance things a little bit because I think we know by now who's going to win. This Cunning Tiger is not going to be able to do any difference whatsoever. BF 109 are ranking supreme in the sky. There you go. The off map is doing some effect. Cunning strike, and there you go, like we predicted. There's no one that's gonna come here. Uh, okay, so Zenat had more infantry and had more Panzer IV. He was definitely holding out. I don't know if I was on mute when I said that, but I, I said uh, he didn't build his deck for the long game. But yeah, he was holding out for the Cunning's Tiger. Now he's bringing more reinforcement. 159 for Walter. Cunning's Tiger is moving in, and you bet the 300 millimeter are gonna get on that real quick. Even at this range, uh, I mean, this took for could get in range of the uh, tiger. Mm, maybe not actually, since he deviates that way. Oh, there is a took for though, uh, right here. So I think what's going to happen is Kanis Tiger is going to engage these, and this one might come here for the flank, flanking shot. Uh, but uh, there's no recon here, so he doesn't see the took for. Yeah, he actually sees nothing because there is no recon. And this is why you always want to bring recon with your heavy stuff. Walter sees the Koenig's Tiger. Doesn't yet engage. He's quite busy here in, in town. Uh, he's busy dominating the field. Panzer Force coming here or might destroy the. Uh, we'll probably destroy the Stug 4 at uh, this uh, range. But there you go. Now Zenat is bringing whatever he's got in his hand. Probably these Panzer 4 will destroy the Stug 4, and then these guys are going to be able to do some work for the infantry. Fucker Wolf is still present on the field, but will get destroyed. Um, yeah, will definitely get destroyed here if he goes like that flight 88 here out of ammo there's another oh that's an artillery piece yeah this spells doom for Zenat. Koenig's Tiger is getting shot by the pack 88 with the 300 millimeter that was aiming a little bit behind maybe or maybe not there you go, 260 points down the drain. And uh, this is why you don't bring King Tigers in the uh, in these tier play 
everyone here in Division 3 knows how to destroy King Tiger, especially when there's uh, so much for it to destroy. I guess the 17 SS was a really good counter pick to 21st Panzer, but I say that, I don't know who counter picked, but I would imagine Walter did. Because I don't think Zenat would have brought the 21st Panzer against the 17 SS. Panzer 4 dies. Uh, I don't know why this guy doesn't shoot. He's following the infantry right now. He's got the order to move with the infantry. So this is... Uh, anyway. Alright, well, there you have it, guys. This was the game. And what a game. It was a pretty interesting game. It went back and forth. Uh, Walter invested in a lot of uh, heavy stuff. And in the end, it resulted in his win. And you can see here, Zenat is kind of just pushing troops forward. It doesn't look like there's any strategy to it. And, um, I mean, at this point, what can he do, really? But it looks like this was uh, Zenat's strategy the whole time. Just amass troops and push in. And where you see, uh, Walter did a lot of uh, deep defense here. And um, lots of support units. Now, uh, Zenat had a lot of support units as well, but he brought them forward. He didn't keep them in check behind, um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. This was a go. <laughs> Did you look at that kill count? Hmm. This is bad. Wow, this guy did a lot of work. Definitely worth his penny. But he was about the only one. Yeah. Pack 40 here did pretty good as well. SS Legionary did ample. Flak 88 did okay. Stug 4 did okay. These guys definitely did well. 1, 2, 3. Plus a Koenig's Tiger. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Well, I was questioning the use of Naval Werfer against Mortars. But I think that definitely shows why uh, Walter is a much better player than I am. Definitely, he made the right choice here. And I would have done the wrong one. Yep. Yeah, so uh, like I said, during the game, uh, Walter traded way better than Zenat, which ended up in his victory. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. I will see you for next video that I'm going to start doing right now. So uh, keep tight, like the video, subscribe if you didn't, and uh, just keep a tab on my channel if you want to see more of these. Uh, there's uh, the other game from the tournament is coming as soon as I can pump it. All right, goodbye.